In this video, I'll show you three ways to send automations at specific times inside ActiveCampaign. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. Now, as I mentioned, there are three different ways to adjust automation triggers to send these automations at specific times to your contacts. So the first way is to have the contacts enter the automation on a specific date and time. They can only enter the automation when they meet the trigger condition and the segment containing the date and time conditions. Okay, so there's two pieces to that, uh, and they will not enter the automation unless they meet all of those conditions. And I'll go over that in just a second, how to set that up. The second way is the enter and wait. So this will allow contacts to enter the automation immediately when the trigger condition is met, uh, but they can only continue when the conditions in the wait step are met. And then finally, you've got the date based trigger, and this is a specific type of trigger that you can select, and it'll automatically add your contacts from a specific list that you choose to an automation uh, on a specific date and time that you set. So a few notes before we dive into how to set this up. The current time condition applies to the entire hour that you select. This is a bit confusing sometimes for new users uh, and even advanced users because you might think, okay, if I choose uh, 12 p.m., it's going to trigger exactly at 12 p.m., but it actually means that any time between 12 p.m. and 12.59 p.m. can trigger the 12 p.m. current time condition. So just keep that in mind. If you have any questions around that, drop them below. Happy to answer those for you to make sure that you're triggering this at the correct time that you intend. And second, trigger and segment conditions. Uh, as I mentioned, contacts will only be added to the automation if they meet both the trigger and the segment conditions for this version here, the enter automation on date and time. That means that if your initial trigger for the automation is subscribes to a list and the segment conditions of that trigger are the current month is December, uh, that means that the contacts have to subscribe to the list during the month of December to enter the automation. Okay, if they don't meet both of those conditions, they will not enter the automation. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're setting these up. So let's dive into the first way to set this up, and that is the enter automation on a specific date and time. So we're going to go to automations and create an automation. I'm already in a demo, uh, which is blank here. And the first step is to set the trigger, and then we're going to set the segment condition. So first, choose our trigger. And let's just say subscribes to a list. We'll do our main list and we'll have it run once. And then here is the piece that we have to set the date and time conditions. So I'll check this box in order to segment the contacts entering this automation. And we can say current month for the contacts time zone is, let's say, January. So this will run next month and we'll hit add start. Now, again, this means that the contact first has to subscribe to the list, main list EN, and the current month is January. They will only be able to enter this automation if they are added to the list, main list, and the current month is January. Okay, if they subscribe to that list in any other month, it will not trigger, they will not enter this automation. Now let's clear this and we'll move on to the second version. This is the enter and wait. This means that as soon as they meet the first trigger condition, they will enter the automation, but they won't progress until they meet the wait action step conditions. Okay. So we're going to set the trigger again and we can do the same one. We'll say they subscribed to a list. We'll run it once. Nothing with the uh, segmentation right now. We're going to hit add start. We're going to go to conditions and workflow. This is already moving you down to this right here, the plus button to add your first action. So that's what opens up conditions and workflow. And we're going to choose the wait action step. Now we're going to say wait until specific conditions are met. And again, we're back here to our segment builder and we can choose. any of these different date and time based options. So the current day of the week, current month, current day of the month, current time. Uh, let's say current day of the week. 
in the contacts time zone is let's say we want this to run on week days only you can add additional conditions if you want to add the hour uh, and you can start from the year to the month to the uh, day of the week to the hour you can really get pretty specific with when you want this to trigger. But for this case, we'll just say current day of the week in the context time zone is a weekday. Okay, and we'll hit save. And now as soon as someone is added to the main list, they'll trigger this automation and they'll enter and they'll queue right here until the current day of the week is a weekday. Then they'll progress uh, in this automation to whatever you set up for your next step. Okay, so just to be very clear about the difference between this version and the first one that we did in the first one to even enter the automation, the contact had to meet both the trigger condition here and a date and time based trigger in order to enter the automation. In this case, they only have to meet the trigger condition to enter the automation and then to progress in the automation, they have to meet the wait action step uh, conditions. So that takes care of the first two and the last one is the date-based automation trigger, okay? So we're back in automations and we're gonna choose a date-based automation trigger and then we're gonna set up those settings. I'll delete this and you can see here, add a start trigger. This time you can search for date-based. Sometimes when you set this up, you'll see it say one day and this will be set to on the subscription date. That's a bit confusing. As soon as you change this to uh, like, after and then back to on, you can have it start on and then you get to select a specific date. It can be their subscription date. Uh, this is the date that they subscribed to a, this list here that you choose. It can be uh, a different contact field. If you have other date uh, fields saved in your contacts or in your deal fields. In this case, for the example, we'll just use the subscription date to our main list again. Uh, and then we can adjust this and say one day after their subscription date, uh, we can have this trigger here, check daily uh, at a specific time in the context time zone. You can adjust that obviously weekdays, weekends. This will determine uh, when this trigger is checking for these contacts to meet the condition. And then for the last settings, uh, you've got when this automation runs, and you can set it to run when month and day match the conditions right up here for the subscription date. This would be if you wanted to run recurring uh, yearly uh, because you're only checking for the month and the day. But if you only wanted to run one time, you're gonna set it to when the year, month and day match conditions. This would be like uh, one-time events, contract expirations, um, and other dates that don't recur yearly. This is going to check and make sure that not only the month and day match the conditions, but the year as well. Uh, and that's why this one up here recurring every year this one down here one time only uh, the year the month and the day have to match all right so let us know if you have any questions about using these uh, date related triggers to send automations at specific times happy to help you out just drop them in the comments below